G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now we're gonna take a look at SharePoint and Microsoft Teams and how they work together and how they are integrated. Now we're going to be focusing on where your files are stored because a common question and a lot of confusion is understanding uh, where your files that you're using in Teams, where they are actually stored. So that is the deep dive and the masterclass that we're going to do in this video. So we're going to start with our Microsoft team environment. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start a brand new team. So we are going to create a team. We are going to call this uh, SharePoint and Copilot Mastery. And we are going to keep this as private. We'll name our first channel. Let's call this uh, Channel Guru, all right? And we'll hit Create. So that's going to create our first channel. Now, what's happening in the background here is that a SharePoint site is actually being spun up in the background also. So whenever we create a Microsoft team, we're actually creating a SharePoint site as well. So a team and a SharePoint site. That is the connection. Every team has a corresponding SharePoint site in the background because we've got this little tab at the top here called files. Now we can upload our files into here, but they're actually not stored in Teams. A lot of times you might hear, oh, we store our files in Teams. Files are in Teams. Teams stores our files. We don't use SharePoint, we use Teams. But in actual fact, and a good thing to understand is that Teams doesn't store, actually store your files because that SharePoint site that's been created with that team and that lives in the background is the place where your files are technically and actually stored, okay? So every single, and I'll just reiterate, every single team that we create, creates a SharePoint site. So let's move our team up to the top here and we're going to, we've got our channel and let's go into the files tab here. So every single channel has a files tab as we know. Now there's a button here. Well, we, let's upload some files first, all right? So let's jump and I'll grab, I've got some, uh, some test files, some dummy files here. All right, so some demo docs. I'll grab a couple of these and we are just going to drag those across and they're uploading. Now you might think that they're uploading to Teams, but as I said, We've got our SharePoint site. We're going to open our SharePoint, our um, open in SharePoint. All right, so our files are here. Documents, Channel Guru, open in SharePoint. And let's have a look at what the structure is here. Okay, so we can see they're the same files. If I jump back into my channel, we'll notice here that we've got, there's the files I've uploaded and I'll jump over into SharePoint. Here are those exact same files. I can edit these documents in SharePoint and it's the same document. I'm just accessing this document from a different endpoint or different interface. I'm coming in through SharePoint. Whereas in this example, I'm coming in through Microsoft Teams. All right, same content. Now if I, I'm in SharePoint, I'm in the SharePoint experience, I'm gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna say created from SharePoint. I'll give this a pinkish color, purpley color, and we'll hit create. So I've created that. Now I'm gonna jump back into Teams, all right? So what, what's gonna happen here? There's that folder I've just created. So it's exactly the same location, all right? It's just that I'm accessing the files and my content via the Microsoft Teams user interface. But it's SharePoint, and I'll say it again, it's SharePoint that's actually storing our content. Now every single SharePoint site has a document library by default. It's called documents. Every single SharePoint site, doesn't matter whether it's a team site, a communication site, we always get a document library. Now you'll notice that I've got a folder in this document library called Channel Guru. Now when I go back into my Teams environment, let's say I add a new channel. So I'm going to add a channel. I am going to call this uh, Copilot Planning. All right, I'm going to select a standard channel. All right, the other channels are a topic for a different video. This is a standard channel. So what's happening in the background here is that things are being created in SharePoint for us because uh, actually what I've done is I've created a shared channel. 
I want to create a standard channel. So I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go add a channel. I'm going to say standard and let's go for SharePoint planning. All right, SharePoint planning and we'll go standard. That's going to create a channel, a standard one this time. All right, so we can see there I've got my SharePoint planning. Now in our files tab here, we've got nothing, right? Because every single channel has a files tab. But where is that file? Where are those files now? So if I open up in SharePoint, I've got the exactly the same site. So it's the same team, it's the same SharePoint site. It's just a different location where I'm storing my files. So if I go back to my documents, you notice that I've got Channel Guru as a folder. I've got Channel Guru as a channel. I've got SharePoint Planning as a folder. I've got SharePoint Planning as a channel. Now this shared channel is a little bit, behaves a little bit differently. So if I go into my SharePoint site for this team, I've actually just got a folder where our files are stored for our channel, okay? So every single channel that gets created in, uh, every single standard channel that gets created in Teams creates a folder in our default document library of the SharePoint site that is associated to that Microsoft Teams. And I've got my SharePoint planning folder. And if I upload documents into that folder, let's say I'm in SharePoint, I've uploaded that. I'll jump back into my team. I'll go to SharePoint planning files. There's that, there's that uh, file. Now, if I go and upload a file inside here in the Teams environment to the files tab of this channel, if I go back into SharePoint, what you'll notice is that that document is living there as well, all right? So the relationship uh, between Microsoft Teams and SharePoint is literally almost one-to-one, -one, right? So every team that gets created creates a SharePoint site. Every channel that gets created, every standard channel that gets created creates a folder inside of that document library that is created by default for that SharePoint site. All right. Now the other channels, the other types of channels behave a little bit differently. All right. So in the next video, we will have a look at how and what happens uh, from a files perspective when we create the other types of channels. So I hope that brings you some value today. The relationship between or where your files are stored uh, in Microsoft Teams when we're talking about standard channels. And I'll just say it again, when we create a team, a SharePoint site is created with that team. Every channel, every standard channel that gets created creates a folder inside of that uh, default document library of that SharePoint site. So I hope that brings you some value today. Thanks for watching and watch out for the next episodes about the other channel types.